What's up guys? Today I'm going to be dressing my tires with tire and trim which is our very own strawberry scented multi-purpose dressing. This stuff is salt resistant, it's water resistant, it's dust resistant. Everyone we deal with is in landfills, rock quarries, they're plowing, they're doing all these things that are really brutal on tire shine. So we figured, you know what, we'd give a stab at uh, making something durable that holds up in those kind of conditions. And this stuff works really well. We used to call it tire shine very to the point practical name but we decided to expand its abilities because really it's great for trim as well and just a good dressing to kind of juice up things like mud flaps around your mirrors and you know this will do a great job for giving a little luster to all those surfaces and one of my favorite parts about this stuff is the scent it smells like strawberries that's kind of nice so to to apply tire and trim, the best way to do it is with like a foam pad. Um, I've had all kinds of different like blocks of foam or you know things with grips on them and all kinds of different things. And honestly, what I'm rolling with lately is this. This is just something that's practically free that everyone has. It's foam and it's got a handle on it so you don't have to get the tire shine all over your fingers. So I'm going to use this to just wipe it in. Let's put it on my tire here and then we'll put it through some paces. You squirt it on the rubber and then you wipe it. So you can let this stuff kind of set up in the sunshine, just spraying it on and leaving it if you want it to be super glossy. But I like to work it in. I feel like it, it works better, especially on a harder rubber compound. I've noticed that a lot of like big rig tires seem to be like a little, I don't know, they're a little bit trickier to get the... Uh, even sheen on in my in my experience so I like to wipe it around a little bit and foam is nice these things are nice any foam material like this is nice because it does not absorb and wick away the tire shine from the, the surface of the tire it just spreads it and helps it look absolutely uniform and great uh, I don't know it depends on a lot of factors how long you get out of this stuff when with one application but I usually am happy for about two, three weeks or so before I feel the need to spray on more of it. It depends on like if it's raining or not. It depends on how many puddles you hit, how fast you were going when you hit it. Uh, there's a lot of things that wear off tire shine over time. All right, we're rolling. We are rolling? Rolling. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a picture. This around. I do like to keep a rag around just to wipe off my rims when I'm done spraying this on here and wiping it around because you always tend to get a little overspray on them. Um, it's fine if you get some of this tire and trim on like a mirror polished aluminum on your rims or whatnot. It's not a big deal, but I, I just find that it's a little greasy and I like to wipe it off if I, if I do get it on the rim. So these brushes are real good for kind of cutting in around the edges of the tire against the rim as well. I do like these. Yeah. Maybe we should sell those. Maybe we should sell these. <laughs> the, the handle part is uh, it's pretty supreme. It's supreme. You know, that's all we gotta do is we gotta stamp supreme <laughs> right on the side of this. Looking great. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Yep. All right. Are we still filming? Well, that's it. Tire and trim installed. Let's rip this thing around in some mud puddles and then rinse it off after, see if it holds up or not. Uh, all right, we're going on an adventure. There's a field across the street from our shop. And some dirt roads. And we're going mud. Okay, here we go. What, is this no place to go have adventure? Where's the mud? <laughs> There's no mud anywhere. These are my old stomping grounds. I'm pretty sure there's some mud over here somewhere. Coming up on it. It's starting to look muddier. <laughs> this is the mud. Where's the mud? We're, we're, we've almost found some mud. 
Oh, there's some. Oh, we got some potholes. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Get every single one of them. Oh, wow. So we're back and I was hoping that the mud would actually stick a little more so that I could uh, show you how it rinses off super easily, but it didn't stick very much. Um, you can see it's all over the rim and, and uh, of course everywhere else, but, um, but the rubber held up pretty good. I'm going to rinse it down anyway though so that you can watch how the, the water kind of reacts with it and how it rinses everything right off for me. Bam! <laughs> that looks pretty good. Oh, the steam. Well, there you have it. That's how I clean off my wheels after I've treated them with tire and trim. Quick rinse and I'm good to go again. So I would expect this to last maybe, uh, I don't know, two, three weeks or something like that, like I mentioned earlier. Um, then it depends on your usage, but uh, whenever you need a little more shine on there, you just spray more of this on and you're good to go. And uh, one nice thing that I like about this that I didn't mention earlier is it doesn't turn the rubber brown over time. That's one thing that always drives me crazy about a lot of tire shines. I don't, I don't like that at all. Anyway, check it out. Tire and trim's available now, and uh, hope you like it. <laughs> What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you our What's up guys? Today I'm going to be putting What's up guys? Today I'm dressing my tires with tire and trim. Tire and trim. Tire and trim on my tire. Uh, eventually